signs of a bad car battery versus alternator. Are you confused about the signs and symptoms of a bad car battery with that of a faulty or damaged alternator? Well, in this guide, I'm going to actually simplify it for you, showing you the different signs you would have to look out for to identify whether you have a car battery problem or you're having an alternator problem. Most of the time, when you turn your car key or you try to ignite or push the start button of your vehicle, you expect your car to actually come to light. But when it doesn't happen, sometimes we mistake what the problem could be because we feel that both the alternator and the battery has a role to play in starting up your car. While that is true, there is a twist to it. In this guide, I will go through the signs of a bad car battery versus an alternator. What causes alternators to go bad and how you can check an alternator if it is bad or faulty. And then we will look at what causes car batteries to die quickly. How do you check a car battery to see if it is bad or damaged? With those in mind, let's get right into it. So first of all, what does the alternator do? In simple terms, I will say that the alternator is the electrical part of your vehicle that charges your car battery. Now let's look at the signs of a bad car alternator. Since we have established that, the alternator is your car's electrical part, responsible for charging your car battery while your vehicle is running and powering other electrical systems. When it starts to fail, it can also lead to a lot of electrical problems. Here are the signs of a bad car alternator to help identify if is the alternator or the battery that is the problem. 1. Dimming or flickering lights. The alternator provides power to your vehicle's lights. If you notice the headlights or dashboard lights dimming, especially when the engine is idling, it's a common sign of alternator trouble. 2. Battery warning light on dashboard. This is especially applicable while driving, and your sure battery is in good condition, and all of a sudden, battery light comes on. Most vehicles have a battery warning light that can indicate alternator issues, not just battery problems, so you have to figure out which one it is. To be sure it is the alternator, Look out for other electrical failure lights on your dashboard, and this is because the alternator fuses other car electronics within your car. And if you are still not sure, simply switch your car battery to see if the light stays on or is gone. Three, strange noises. Alternators can produce a grinding or whining noise when they begin to fail, resulting from worn bearings or other internal car parts. 4. Electrical failures. If the alternator isn't charging properly, you might experience random electrical failures, such as power windows slowing down or the stereo system cutting out. 5. Engine stalling. The alternator powers the spark plugs that ignite the fuel in your engine. If the alternator is failing or going bad, your engine might stutter or stall unexpectedly, but your car will still stay on and not just shut down completely. What causes or makes alternators to go bad? Simple. They get old and tired, and also certain conditions can accelerate their wear or tear period. Age. Like any car part, alternators wear out with age, and usage this normal. So if you feel your alternators have stayed too long, then there is a chance it is worn out. Heat. Excessive heat can damage the alternator's internal parts. Overloading. Using too many power-demanding accessories simultaneously can overstress the alternator. Belt problems. A loose or broken belt can lead to alternator failure since it can't spin properly. How do you check an alternator? Checking an alternator often involves measuring the voltage output with a multimeter. With the engine off, a healthy battery should read around 12.6 volts. Now when starting the engine, the voltage should rise to between 13.7 and 14.7 volts, which proves your alternator is charging correctly. Now let's get to battery signs. Signs and symptoms of a bad car battery. The battery stores the electrical energy necessary to start your engine. Here are the symptoms of a failing battery. 1. Difficulty starting. The most common sign of a bad battery is trouble starting your car. A sluggish start or the dreaded clicking noise when turning the key is a clear indicator. 2. Dim lights and electrical issues. While also a sign of alternator trouble, dim lights can indicate a battery struggling to meet the power demands of your car's electrical system. 3. Corrosion. A white, ashy substance on the metal parts of your battery is a sign of corrosion, which can lead to poor connections and battery failure. 4. Swollen battery case. A battery that looks bloated or swollen is suffering from excessive heat exposure, leading to a decreased lifespan. What causes a car battery to die quickly? There are several factors that can reduce or shorten a battery's lifespan. Extreme temperatures, severe hot and cold weather conditions can severely impact a battery's life, performance, and longevity. 
Frequent short trips. Starting the car uses a significant amount of battery power. Short trips may not allow enough time for the alternator to recharge the battery fully. Leaving your car. Lights on is a common mistake that can kill or drain a battery overnight. Age. Car batteries typically last between three to five years. Beyond this, their ability to hold a charge will be diminished significantly. How do you check a car battery if it is bad or damaged? A simple way to check a car battery is to use a multimeter. 1. Voltage. Check. With the engine off, connect the multimeter to the battery terminals. A reading below 12.4 volts suggests a weak battery. 2. Load test. Many automotive stores offer free battery testing, which can include a load test to determine how well your battery can hold a charge under usage conditions. In diagnosing the health of your car's electrical system, Distinguishing between a battery and alternator issue is key. Each has its symptoms and testing methods. However, to top of your game, you need to keep a regular maintenance check schedule. This will help catch any problems, be it the alternator or your car battery earlier on, and possibly save you from being stranded on the road.